Hi guys, I'm back for a really quick little video. I wanted to share with you this package of goodies that I got from Country Craft Creations today. I had placed an order with them. I was thinking this was my Craftology box. It's not. I'm still waiting very eagerly for my Craftology box. But while I'm waiting, I wanted to show you this other order that I placed. Yes, I know. Um, I just couldn't resist it. I don't know if you guys know this or not. I know some of you are also followers of um, Tamara Merrill and Country Craft Creations and a lot of you I've met over there in the Facebook group and on some of the lives, you know, chatting and, and that's how we've sort of become acquainted. And others of you, I don't know if you know who she is and how wonderful this group is, um, but Tammy has created an amazing online craft store. She also created an amazing online community of crafters and now she's making her own papers. And you guys, they're so amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this order with you. I do wanna point out that everything that you order from them comes packaged so beautifully, and they have some of the fastest shipping I've ever experienced. So I think you're really gonna like it. All right, let's, let's get into this. One of the things I wanted to point out to you guys is that when you place an order with Tammy at Country Craft Creations, she will send you these little stickers. Now, um, sometimes they're stickers of Wilbur, her puppy, who is so cute. And sometimes they're these little paw print stickers, but they are all what is called Wilbur stamps. And you collect these, and when you get a certain number of them, Tammy will send you a gift certificate. And it's just a really fun little, you know, I don't know, rebate or something like that that you get from Country Craft Creations. And honestly, it's just so personal and it's nice buying from a local store, right? It's just a lot of fun. In this box, I have ordered a bunch of these beautiful Prima flowers. Aren't they so pretty? Huh? I mean, look at them. They're just gorgeous. The colors are lovely and I thought that they would go really well with some of these paper collections. Okay, so the first collection I wanna show you that I got is called the Music Box. Oh, it's so pretty. And these flowers are just gonna match perfectly with it, aren't they? Oh, they're so pretty. So this one has come with one of the cut apart sheets already cut for you. And it looks like she's die cut them. And I just wanna point out to you guys that you know when you buy ephemera and it has lots of nubbies and stuff on the side, these are really smooth and nice. And you know, I would expect nothing less from Tammy cause she just does such a great job. But this is really a nice little treat. I haven't had these included before in my other purchases from her paper. So I think this is something new she's doing. And here's the cover sheet. And don't forget you guys, this cover sheet is printed on the same paper that the collection is printed on. So the quality is just amazing. And then you have this mini version of all the cut aparts and this sort of sampling of the papers in here too. So this sheet gets used very well from me. Oh, and also these come in the 12 by 12 and eight by eight. And of course I had to get both of them. <laughs> um, but I just, I come from a musical family and this is so beautiful. Okay, so then there's two sheets of these cut aparts. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And look at the piano keys down here. Oh, it's got all the letters on them. This is so cute. And the back side, oh, it's this beautiful green. Oh, this is romance. This is just amazing. I love this paper. It just feels good. You know what I mean? And then this, okay, so this is the other sheet of the cut apart. So you get the equivalent of two sheets of this, of this cut apart in the collection, but she's including one of them already pre-cut, which is really awesome. Aren't these so sweet? And then the backside is this beautiful, just kind of aged looking music paper, like handwritten music. It's just so pretty. And this one says, music is love in search of a voice. Oh, that's wonderful. And then all the other patterns, you get three pages of each. And then the B side here. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the B side. This is the A side with the clarinets. Oh, gosh, I mean, how do you determine one's A or B? They're just gorgeous. So this one has the treble clef and this one has the clarinets. I mean, they're just both gorgeous in their own right. And then this is the artifice. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is just, look at this rose, these vibrant colors with these roses. And then the backside here is this beautiful green. And look how it looks almost aged around here. 
all these papers have so much depth to them. It's not a flat color of anything. And again, three of each pattern. Oh my goodness. I don't think the camera is doing this justice. These roses are just vibrant and lovely. Look at these harps. Oh, wow. I mean, this is taking my breath away, honestly. Oh, in the ballerina music box. Just stunning. And then, oh, more of this. I love this paper. I'm glad there's more of this. That is so beautiful. Ooh, fun. Look at this. I mean, I can't even describe to you the texture of the visual texture of the paper. The, the paper itself doesn't have a texture, but there's a visual texture to it that's just, it's just so welcoming. Okay, so this is basically without this prominent print is what this one is. Oh, so pretty. Vocal Beauties from the Opera. Wow, I love this pink striping back there. Oh, well, there's the pink striping. Yes, I love this. Oh, I love this. Again, so textural, like not physically textural, but visually textural. Look at all these deep colors intermingled with the lighter colors. It has almost a patina to it. It's really pretty. And then these beautiful baby grands and the French horn. Oh, and then just the floral. So, so pretty. And we've got our violins. Let me see like these over here. Got our violins. And then the back side of that is just more of the sheet music. And, you know, I say just, I mean, look at this page. It's, it's amazing, right? Oh, wow. I'm super excited about that. I have a project plan for this. As soon as I saw this collection, um, I've got some music boxes that I'm going to actually use this collection with. So we're going to take the music box paper and wrap it on the music boxes that I have. And I'm so excited about that. That's going to be awesome. So I have the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8. I'm not going to open up the 8 by 8s right now because they are the same paper, just a smaller scale. The next collection I have for you is the Spring Awakenings collection by Country Craft Creations. Again, these are exclusive papers to them. Tammy has started making her own paper collection and I'm telling you they are amazing. This one also comes with the pre uh, cut out, the die cut cut apart sheet. It looks like there's one of them that's already cut out. We'll go ahead and look into this. And again, just the cover sheet alone, I've got a million ideas of what I would like to do with this. And oh yeah, these flowers again. I mean, <laughs> they're just gorgeous, right? Oh, look at these. Now these are all what is cut up into these little pouches that you're getting. They're so cute first blooms. Oh my gosh. They're just so cute. And then the back side. Oh, wow. Again, there's just so much visual texture to this. I, I just love it. And then this cut apart sheet. Oh, is these so cute? <sighs> the great gift of Easter is hope. The deep roots never doubt spring will come. Mm. Rebirth, spring, bloom, renewal, hope, grow, rebirth, spring, bloom. Oh, wow. These are just spring awakenings. They're so pretty. And then the back side. Oh, look at these beautiful little birdies. This is so cute. So there's two of these. There's the equivalent of two of these sheets, but she's giving you one of them pre-cut, which is so handy. And then again, all the rest of them are going to be three of each pattern. <laughs> this little boy is like, that Easter egg is mine. I'm taking it. This is so cute. God, I love that paper. And then look at this sweet bunny with this, you know, kind of seafoam green and almost a peachy pink stripe in the background. This is just beautiful. Oh, wow. And then on the back side, you have that same stripe. I just can't tell you how pretty this is. It's so pretty. Oh, look at these. Oh, this blue. It's like that robin's egg blue, you know? And there's the ribbons around the lambs. These are so cute. 
You guys, each one of these is its own cut apart in its own right. They are all gorgeous, just gorgeous. Ah, oh, and the backside, I was hoping for that. You've got the Easter lilies and some Easter eggs, and then this beautiful robin's egg blue pattern. Oh, I think it's Latin, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just really has so much visual interest. And then this one here, we've got some little bunnies, one with a parasol, how funny is that? And then on the back side, look at these beautiful Easter eggs. They almost look like they sparkle. They, there's nothing glittery about them, but the, the depth of the color is just really, in, it's just impressive. This is super cute. Oh, look at this. And then the B side. Oh, look at the chickies. Look at the little cute chickies. Ah, oh, this is so fun. We've got some bunnies over here. And then on the back side, the roses, so pretty. And look at these sweet little lammies. Sweet, sweet little lammies. Oh my goodness, look at her, she's so cute. Can you see her little face? Oh, she's just adorable, look at that. And then the back side, again, what is it with this blue? I just am so drawn to it. I love it. And then we've got these little chickies here and a really nice little Harlequin print. It's so aged and, you know, I, it's not really a grunge look. It's just an aged look. It's more like a patina. It's so pretty. Okay, so that is that collection. And that is the Spring Awakens collection. Again, exclusive country craft creations, Tamara's amazing, uh, just amazing vision has made all of these wonderful paper collections. And if I heard correctly, she is gonna have new releases on the 10th of every month, you guys. So no more waiting months and months for the next collection to come out and then they might get sold out and stuff like it's been with some of the other paper companies. This is a local business person you know, these are American made papers and she's getting them out the door fast, but she's making great products. Okay, and the last collection I've got and certainly not the least is Blossoms in Springtime. And I have been so excited about this ever since I saw a little sneak peek of it preview when I was attending the New Year's Eve virtual retreat one of the previews that was shown to us by Tamara was, was this collection and the announcement that it was gonna be part of the next Craftology box, which is this month's box, the February box. And so I should have that coming tonight or tomorrow. I'm gonna to keep checking my mailbox on that because that gets mailed out on the 10th also. Um, but these, <laughs> this collection is amazing. It's so beautiful and so versatile, again, all exclusive country craft creations. Don't forget about the front sheet. It's just amazing paper like the rest of it, but you guys, look at this. Do you see these? I hope you're catching this. I mean, this is so stinking cute. Oh, they're so cute. So there aren't, the cut aparts on these aren't pre-cut, but that's okay. These are super simple to fussy cut, or if you've got a brother scan and cut, you can put them through that just like a dream. It, it recognizes and cuts them out very well. And then the back side, oh my gosh, look at these clovers. <gasps> Those beautiful clovers. Oh, this is so cute. I love the clover blossoms. They're so, 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 so pretty. Oh my gosh, and then are those, I don't know if those are hydrangeas? I'm not really sure. Oh, they're just all pretty is what they are. They're so pretty. And then look at these tags. Look at these tags. All the world is, all the world in blossom, spring has sprung, life is a beautiful field of flowers, songbirds sing to welcome spring. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then the backside is this really pretty, very light lavender color. We've got these dresses hanging up on a clothesline and dress form over here with all the shoes. Look at the shoes, so cute. And then the back is this sort of almost whitewashed weathered wood look. 
this one is really pretty. Again, none of these are flat colors. I can't express that enough to you. The depth and the texture, the visual texture in this paper, because there's no physical texture, is just, it's just stunning. You know, you think, oh, it's a pink sheet with white dots. This is so much more than that. Oh, nice. And we are shamrocks. So cute. And look at these lammies in their little basket. Just so cute. This floral page. Oh my goodness, these irises. The images of the irises are just lovely. So pretty. And look at the chickies and the little goosies. Oh my goodness gracious, they're so cute. Little goslings, little chicks. Oh. And then this is also that. It's almost like a weathered whitewash look, but it, it has, it's, I think it's supposed to be more of a stone. Um, it's just beautiful. It's really beautiful. And the bunnies, the bunnies. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't, it's so cute. And then this is the same pattern as that pink with the white dots, but again, there's so much texture in it. There's even like some lavender streaks in here. Um, it's just, and again, texture visually, um, not, not physically, but I don't know. It's just it has such a depth to it. It's so pretty. This one is the smaller version, like a smaller print of those bunnies. And they're so cute. Oh, look at these. And you've got the clover flowers. These are so pretty. Look at these bunnies. I just can't. So yeah, Tamara's been making these papers for I think a little over a year now, and I cannot tell you how amazing they are. They just, you have to order them for yourself. Now this page here, this collection of these yellow, of these flowers in yellow hues just sings. I wasn't expecting that when I turned it over. It's really, really, really beautiful. That dandelion yellow and oh my goodness, these are just gorgeous. It's just stunning. I don't know. I don't really have words. I should just stop talking. Oh, look at these little houses. And again, with the yellow blooms, beautiful whitewashed wood grain. And then this polka dot, this polka dot is not your average polka dot. It's so cute. And then that blue that I just am loving. Oh, but this side's just as cute. How do you choose? How do you choose? Look at these little carrots. Okay, guys, that's what I got for you right now. Um, if you have not experienced any of Tamara Merrill's amazing papers, I'm going to have a link in the description below, and I highly encourage all of you to go and try them out. You know, buy an eight by eight pad. You're not going to you're not going to go wrong, um, or be like me and buy the eight by eight and the twelve by twelve of the, all the collections as they come out. <laughs> because I just can't help myself. It's just too stinking cute. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Um, I hope you're all doing well and having a lot of joy in your journey. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.